the coronal mass ejections and electromagnetic pulses are something I know that you've, that Jim Baker's show has covered uh, to quite uh, some extent. Uh, you know, the term space weather refers to uh, all of the, uh, the conditions of the sun and in space. In fact, if you're familiar with the uh, coronal mass ejections, there's, um, you know, the sun is sending out solar flares all the time. That's how we get heat uh, on our Earth. But God has so created a geomagnetic um, barrier uh, to protect the Earth from harmful solar uh, radiation. But if the solar winds are blowing in a certain way, it pushes back this geomagnetic covering, and the solar flares are able to reach the Earth and cause disruption in radio waves. Uh, in fact, back in the 1800s, late 1800s, there was the Carrington effect where telegraph lines were uh, melted and fires were started. And if we had another major e event like that, um, uh, with all of our new electronics, it could have some devastating effects on our nation and really disrupt a lot of our electrical uh, grid in whatever area where this, uh, the, the solar flares occurred. And they are predicting that there's a 12% chance that this type of major effect would occur within the next uh, few years, and so that's just something uh, that you should be, should be prepared for. Um, now, this is actually a PowerPoint that shows the um, uh, different types of simple Faraday cages. Um, you know what a Faraday cage is? Um, some of you do, not all of you. Um, this is a device that will protect your electronic equipment. Um, and uh, you really need to have some means to be able to protect them. The three things that are actually shown on this particular PowerPoint, one is a metal uh, galvanized trash can that uh, you can actually put either a plastic trash can inside of it or cardboard inside of it and put uh, boxes of uh, your electronic equipment inside of that and then seal the lid again and then any electrical pulse that comes will go around it and will not disrupt the electronics of uh, of whatever it is that you've put inside. Uh, but also, there's a small microwave there, if, as you can see. Uh, microwave itself can be a Faraday cage. So if you had uh, USB drives, or if you had some uh, walkie-talkies, or other type of smaller items that would fit inside of a microwave, you can actually use that as a Faraday cage. By the way, if you use a microwave as a Faraday cage, do not leave it hooked up and do not try to use it. You will fry everything inside of it. What you need to do is cut the cord so that the, <laughs> the microwave doesn't work, and then you could use it as a Faraday cage. Um, one of the things that I was going to actually, and by the way, those others are bags that are actually specific design that you can get in readiness stores, preparedness stores, that you can actually, they're big enough to be able to put computers, uh, backup drives, other things can be put inside of these uh, bags that will uh, make it safe uh, for an EMP or um, CME. Um, but I really have wondered whether or not with as many people here um, together, if you would ever come together at Morningside and consider creating a Faraday room. Now, I can't do that myself. Um, but there are actually instructions that you can go online, and if you have some people that are very knowledgeable with this, there's enough of you here that you literally could create a Faraday room that would be big enough to store quite a bit of uh, uh, equipment. And in fact, you could have walkie-talkies. One of the things that we're going to talk about with neighborhood preparedness is th that having walkie-talkies would be very useful to be able to communicate with each other during a disaster if your telephones were not able to work, if, you, uh, if there was no other means of being able to communicate or if there a disaster hit and you have search and rescue teams going out and reporting back to a central place, you're going to want to have some of this electronic equipment safe. You could create large, uh, a large space that actually would be a Faraday room that people could store their items in that and you could do it collectively. That's just an idea that, that crossed my mind that you could do. Now, in regards to if you do have to evacuate, I mean, I just stop and think about fires. Um, uh, we're going to talk about that in just a little bit. It can be forest 